episode 20. They're here. Hey. Hey, look at them. Hey. How we doing? Sit. Pleasure. Oh, jeez. Hey. Oh, okay. We haven't been able to record the podcast for a while due to reasons that will be unnamed. However, we're back. We got Fatty and we got small guy. All right. Crack I'll, that I'll bad boy that. open. Yeah, you know, I'm going to... Kick crack the, cr- the crocs off. Yeah. If you, if you don't mind, get Not nice and comfy. Hey, hey cheers. 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 Episode it. 20. That's the last of Episode 20. Episode, we've out. made 20 episodes. 20. Today. That's an accomplishment. Yeah. I feel honored. Yeah, yeah exactly. Episode. So, um, I've never watched this. What are we, what are we, what are we talking about? Thomas going is going to ask some questions. I just kind of sit here on the comical release. So you're like the... I'm just the, fact. You're the Guillermo from... Jimmy Kimmel, essentially. You, you just kind of sit there. Exactly, except less Mexican. All right, okay. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So I would typically ask a question like, oh, Xander, why are you so fat? But like, Why are you so fat? If you're going to be in the Marines soon, why are you going to be so fat? That's true. Uh, yeah, a 300-pound right. Marine might be a bit problematic. I'm not even close to 300 pounds. How much do you weigh? What's the exact like 220. number? 220. 220? Yeah. That's not true. Nope, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Brendan, by the way, you're going to probably want to put that milk to the side for a second because... um. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna introduce you to our next yeah. segment. It's uh, it's called Great segment. It's called meat time. Yeah. No, I don't want to. Meat, 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 uh, I recently, what have I been doing recently? I have been filling out my college applications. Mm. Uh, I've been playing football, as both of you do as well. Third string. Yeah. We're all third string. Yeah. We all I, suck. Not good at the game yeah, whatsoever. we're all bad. But hey. It's fun to watch, we're, though. We're committed. We show up to the practices. We're there. It should be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be my mom. Yeah, it would be. Wow. What's up? <laughs> Going away. Oh, just, no, no. I know. I noticed you have a lot of books here. You um, read a lot. Though. Do you actually well, like know how to read? Is that? Yeah, actually, I've read most of these. I mean, most of them are like kids' books, but like Halo books over here. I've read. Um, I would consider Halo a kids' book, if I'm being honest. I mean, these are novels, though. Like, that's. that's oh, it's bigger than I expected, actually. How many? This is like 300 pages. Ah, wow, that is. Oh no, 400. That makes what sense have you been doing to make yourself more attracted to the female gender? I, I work out a lot. Um, Where? My basement, at school. I do the football workouts. We have two w- workouts a week for football. They're kind of they're not really like workout workouts, but they're just kind of like muscle. Just kind of like athletic workouts. And yeah, I yeah. work out strictly so I can look good. I like I don't work out for strength, which tracks because I weigh nothing. Yeah. No, I mean. Like, uh, I'm heavier than yeah. my girlfriend, but that's only because I'm, like, a bigger human being. Like, yeah. it's not, like, proportionate. That's usually how men work. Yeah, yeah but if like, I wasn't heavier than my girlfriend, I'd be it's erectile. not, like... <laughs> You're... Yeah, she is pretty small. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Fair. I don't know, man. Um, I don't have a girlfriend, but I'm pretty sure I'd be larger than most women. I think Xander's future girlfriend will be larger than him. I God, I hope not. But, you know, you never know how life works. I could become um, a disgust. Yeah, like the, one Mar- of them... the Marines are going to set you straight. Absolutely. Oh, I'm I already so. on that track. Um, I can't... Ms. Xander's Marine graduation will be featured on this podcast. I personally am excited to, to be there. Like, imagine because Xander. I, I assume you'll like, invite like, me. You can... Well, you don't need to be... You can come, man. Of course you can come. Sick. It'll be in South Carolina, Paris Island. I'll Fine. make sure... I'll write you a letter. Give you the Please, date. yes. Uh, with... But, like, don't write it with, like, a pen. I want you to write it with, like, a quill. Like a feather? Like a, like a big feather, and I want you to, like, dip it in ink, like Peter Griffin. I don't know if I can requisition that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll see what I can they do. They have forced yeah. me to lose weight. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> Come on, let's see those impressions. Peter Griffin. Come on, you got, got what, do you, what else do you got? Like I can do Kermit the Frog. Oh, Miss Piggy, you're green, you know. <laughs> All right, hi-ho. All right, Miss Piggy, you're just, you're so attractive to me, Miss Piggy. I know it. You know, physically, there are some differences between us. Like, I'm a frog, and, you know, you're a pig, and, you know, I typically, you know, these things don't mix together, but I th- I, I think the two of us, like, between the two of us, I think we can make it work. Hell yeah. Who else do you got? That's horrible. We must talk at No. Oh, fuck Star Wars, man. <laughs> 
And then I watched, you, uh, you know, Goosebumps? Like, the books? I do know they, Goosebumps. They, uh, they, they have a movie. They they have a great movie with Jack Black. I watched then, that a couple... Uh, I watched that about a week ago with my girlfriend. It's actually really good. Like, actually a great movie. Yeah. Like, I actually love that movie. Yeah, I was glued to the Dude, screen. the puppet scared the shit out of me when exactly. I was little. Slappy was the scariest thing to me when I was a little kid. Dude, like, my, dude, like, I cried. Like, I could not watch that movie when it came out. I was terrified of Slappy. And then, like... You know, a couple like four or five years ago, I finally like watched it, and I was like, "This is great! This is awesome! I don't know what I was scared of." Yeah. And that. What? You know what I'm talking about? Slappy, uh, bro. Slappy is does not have yacht at all. He, I mean, all te- he thinks about te- is money, curls, and sex. That's it. And he is a 17 year old boy. Yeah. I'm 18 actually. You're I'm 18. I'm the oldest person. You're here. a legal adult. I'm oh, oh my fuck god! Boy. You take your shirt off. Only if you take your shirt off. No. Why? You my it- shirt is always off. Yeah. Come here right, now. Well, well, you only have okay, six months fine, left. Fine, fine, These boys will be illegal. Tom, Tom, you have to calm down. You're being too loud. I don't give a fuck. I, I referenced Taylor Swift right there. Which is funny because I actually don't like Taylor Swift. I, I don't like bitch. Taylor Swift at all. No, we'll get back to the Taylor Swift Every thing in a second. Every fucking I game. My point, my point as watch. to why I think half the grade doesn't like you is because you're very open with your political views. Yeah. Which is admirable. I like it hanging out. Personally, I, I keep them a bit more tight. You know, Same here. Cause, just because I like people know. Get For, so I mean, sad. people know with you because you walk around with a flannel, with like flannel, a car heart. But like, I don't go into class screaming that I, you know, I hate abortion or that I want, you know. But then you just said it out loud on the podcast. I do. I don't like it very much. I'm gonna. Admit can that I include right that? Because this is a safe space. Yeah, of course you can. I'm so, so my that. thing is like, personally, I'm not gonna disclose that stuff really to anybody. Those views are just for me. Yeah. Tuck them in a little box in the back of my head. You, the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> are a bit more open and flagrant with it, which is great, awesome. But like at the same time, with that, there are a lot of people, especially in a town like Wayland, who will not agree with you. Yeah. And whether like I mean I don't agree with you guys on everything. That's and okay. You don't agree with me on everything, and I don't agree with them on everything. That's yeah. why our system. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Exactly. It's a whole like bunch of different levels of like what we everything in itself every like. There's people take, no, I feel like the problem with the world today is everyone takes themselves, everyone has main character syndrome where they take themselves way too seriously. It's just, whatever their thoughts in their head is gospel, and whatever, and if you disagree with someone slightly, you have to completely just be like, oh, oh hell no, oh, yeah, get away from me. Yeah, my thing is, like, nobody seems to be okay with disagreeing with anybody. Exactly. And, like, I think there is a beauty in disagreeing and just kind of moving on. Exactly. Like, just let it go. I think the prequel, like, I think the worst Star Wars movie is episode one. Wow. You can disagree with me on I that. I personally like that movie. Yeah, like, you like you know, it. I don't like it at all. Well, except for Duel of the Fates and the pod racing scene. That's one of the best scenes ever. I love but, like, scene. you know, well, I do like it a little bit. I, I just, I like Star Wars. But anyway, um, we can disagree Raging with it. You know what? We're Wars. still we're still going to be chill. Yeah. Because we can disagree. That's a huge yeah. problem with the world. Speaking of disagreeing crazy. and opinions getting taken way too seriously, I don't like Taylor Swift, and I have been called a sexist pig for it. Like, a really? sexist Who pig. Who's called you a sexist pig? <laughs> women tend to like taylor swift i think most people tend to like taylor swift i don't think it's like a spit like she is by far the most popular person in music right now yeah. i don't think like i don't think that can happen from just women there are a lot of guys who like taylor swift her music is like generic and kind of just like the most base level mass appeal schlock like what you know when some people are like i hate marvel movies because they're all the same yeah i hate taylor swift music because it's all the same do you like the baby's music I don't listen to the baby. I it's, really, it's all the same. I don't, I don't really listen to is. music. You don't know who the baby is? I have no idea. I only know the, I only know the baby from the Let's Go meme, and that's it. A lot of people say Nickelback is the same way, where like every song is the same thing. I can get behind that. I love Nickelback. Yeah. Well, I, I think, mean, I mean, like Nickelback, yeah. like they. I don't know why people say it's all the same because it's not. Well, I mean, it's genre, right? It's all part of one genre. Mm. And but it, every single song has like its own different kind of thing. Like, yeah, I've, like I'm sure a Taylor Swift fan would tell you the exact same thing for her music. Mm-hmm. Just to me personally, it all sounds the same. Then again, That's I listen valid. to like, I I listen to like Daft Punk and jazz mm. and like those are all the same. I listen to a bunch of different stuff and usually like and every country go, song if you go is by all like the same. album album by album it's all the same i don't okay. like country music either that's another reason i love I'm not, country music. i don't like country it's all music. the same part of the reason i don't like taylor swift not against her as a person i just don't like country music and i don't like her music and i don't like the fact that she flies her private plane so much that like have you seen that she fly she has like a private jet that she has flown so much that like the amount of carbon it has released into the atmosphere is like more damaging than like an entire town's 
because she'll fly it so frequently. That Who gives on. a fuck? I don't really care. Well, I, I mean, it's, it's I your care. life. You can fly a plane around whatever you want. But the planet, man, our planet. Climate change is real. Climate. Whoa. That's the big opinion. I don't know if that's true, but I, I know it doesn't have as much. You complain to me that you say climate change isn't real, Mister Electric Car. Dude, you don't believe in climate change. I. Let's not go too far now. <laughs> but, but, not everything is as clear as it seems. Listen, that's fair. I think climate change is one of those things that we need to acknowledge and we need to take care of, but at the same time, I also don't think it's a political thing. Now, I will tell you, it's the only reason I want this agenda to go forward is so that I can get fusion, nu- nuclear fusion. That's the only reason. Yeah. You don't really want that. Nuclear fusion? You don't want, like, nuclear war, man. Nuclear fusion. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. That just seems dangerous. Like, the radiation, and it just doesn't seem stable. That's how you know somebody does not know anything about nuclear power. That's true. It's 100% the safest and cleanest energy you can have. I'm being fully 100% honest. I know very little about nuclear things. Yeah. My ex- no, that's the ex- fair. The extent of my nuclear knowledge is... Like, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah. Like, I saw Oppenheimer and... That's it. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, um, those were actually fusion bombs. That's right. Fusion and fission, which are two different things. Exactly. So currently we have mastered fission, mm. which is... It's a kind of nuclear power, which does its massive amount of um, energy. Yeah. What fission is, is you bind two atoms together. Fusion, it just you blast them apart. Right. Oppenheimer, great movie. Are you gonna watch the, why are you gonna watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I am. I'm going to see the Five Nights. At Freddy's you know, it's movie. just gonna be like a dumbed down version for the I'm kids. I'm gonna go see it. I'm us. seeing it. I'm seeing it tonight, and my prediction's going in. I don't think it's gonna be very good. It looks um, like shit. It. I. It my, looks like it was made by a YouTuber. Because here's my thing. Um, Blumhouse, the studio that made it, their whole thing is they make movies for really cheap, and it looks cheap. Yes, it, that is lo- what... it looks very cheap. Like the the Jim Henson Company, I love the Muppets. They have like the Dark Crystal. They have made amazing stuff. The animatronics look like people in costumes to me. Yeah, like I mean that's what they are, and it's kind of hard to avoid that. But it like if you look at it, like the shoulders and the arms don't line up. Like the yeah. underwear goes wider than the rest of it. It looks like it was made really quickly, mm-hmm. and. Because it was. Like, it was made in, like, I mean, six it's months. just a video game. The fact that it's came this far, I mean, it's pretty impressive. It's yeah, like, well, I mean, it's come this Five far... Five Nights at Freddy's has gone, like, down well, here's the thing. popular. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is only popular because of YouTube. Yeah. Markiplier, I'm, I'm gonna say that. Markiplier, Game Theory, like, MatPat, all, right. all that. The, all the lore and all that is the only reason I think people, like, pay attention. At all. Because I don't think lore, it's going to have any lore implications I at think, all. I think it will, but it's only going to do, like, the most base level. Because the game yeah. is like, yeah, here are... You can't make a movie like, this, that. This is a, like, a, a, a game where, if you look at the story, it is about child murder, and it's, like, the darkest, most grim thing ever. Like, the, the game over screen... And it's a kid's game. Like, yeah. Well, it's not but a kid's game. Technically, I mean, it would it be... It wasn't random, a kid's but... game. It was, it was just a game that, like kids seem to really attach to because it's kind yeah. of like an intro horror thing kind of like goosebumps yeah to, exactly. like, to, in my opinion goosebumps for like 2000s kids yeah. was or excuse me there's levels to this five nights at freddy's is to 2000s kids like us what goosebumps was to kids in the 90s i think it's exactly. i, th- it's I like think there's levels horror. to this i think it goes goosebumps five nights at freddy's slenderman and then actual like horror after yeah that. That, you know there's what levels. i agree with that I agree with that. Yeah. I would swap... Well, maybe not. Five Nights at Freddy's and Goosebumps are different. The thing is, is Five Nights at Freddy's is like... When you look at the story, five kids are murdered. Their bodies are stuffed in animatronics. Like, yeah. the game over screen has, like, an eyeball with, like, the thread hanging out. Yeah. Of, like, a Freddy Fazbear suit. That's like, true. I it is a that. grim, fucked up game. But, like... What's it rated? What's the movie rated? PG-13? The, the movie is PG-13. Oh, because, yeah. It's gonna be a it, terrible It's gonna movie. be bad. Because you're bad. fine. You can't tell that... Like... Kids, you can do it in a video game, you can't do it in a movie. Because video game ratings are so different. Like, kids can play video games, it's whatever. Mm -hmm. They can watch their favorite YouTuber play a rated M video game, and it's not going to matter. And it would be too much of a risk to make it a rated R movie. Exactly. The the thing is, is Five Nights at Freddy's, when we were growing up, it was like this brand, it was dark, it was really grimy, it was kind of like the smaller thing, and then it blew up. And then it was a game you could get on, like, your phone that was kind of detailed, that you could actually, like, play... Well, the rest of like the dis- rest of the selection was just terrible. It was it was one it of those stood th- out. It, it was one of those things that stood out because it was so simple. 
Yeah. And yet, so inside of it, there was so much complexity and like. So you would play lore. and then watch the video of yeah, Matt like Pat you, talking you would about play it. the game, exactly. And, and the talk thing, to your friends about yeah, it at and the lunch on, table. The thing is, Ooh, I think this yeah. means this. On blah, YouTube, blah, blah. you can get away with saying, like, yeah, this purple guy you see in this one secret cutscene that you have to unlock by, like, looking in the source code. Yeah. That can have child murder. That can go that far. Yeah. When you have a movie that has to be marketed to fan, like, this is supposed to be like, you have to appeal to so many different demographics. You have to appeal to people like us who grew up with it. You have to appeal to adults. And just regular and, moviegoers. But the thing is, is you also have to appeal to kids because it, it's kind of, it's an intro horror thing. Kids get into it. Mm -hmm. And there's like, you know, what you can get away with online, you can't get away with in a movie. I don't think I'm going to see a child get murdered on screen. Yeah. I might, but I don't think I will. And be like, I don't think, I, I'm not going to be like, the movie won't be good if they don't have that. But I think it's really tough to make a movie about that kind of story yeah. and then, like, not go all the way. Yeah. Personally. Well, I mean, they could I be child like murder, but it's, like, off lot. screen. Uh, like, a lot of them will be like, oh, this kid is getting murdered, but you can't quite see it. But yeah, you can hear you can, it. You can hear, you can hear it, and you can, like, see the shadows. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be something. And I you, mean, can, you can get, like, not, you can that'll infer, go over kids' heads, yeah. but, like, adults and, like, yeah. they'll be like, oh, I know what's happening. What I think is really funny is that the guy they cast as the serial killer, William Afton, yeah. allegedly William Afton, we're not exactly sure. You'll find out tonight. Uh, I'll find out in a couple hours, but um, apparently <laughs> Matthew Lillard, the guy who played Shaggy in the live-action Scooby-Doo movies, mm -hmm. he's the he's the serial killer. Oh, man. Wow. Like, zoinks, man. Like, we gotta hide these bodies. <laughs> wow. Stuff them in the animatronic. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's my theory. Yeah. My game theory. Thanks for watching. This is a pot. Right? Uh, yeah, pretty the soon they'll really make a movie about Kate Posse Day Way. Welcome to your new podcast. Oh my this god. Brand you gotta drink whole raw milk. Okay, Liver King. Shut up. Liver King died. Yeah? yeah. Really? I didn't even know yeah, that. Right? What? Didn't like one of the... No, he <laughs> fell off. I think so. I think He's dead? dead? <laughs> what, you ever think so? died? I'm pretty sure. Since when? When Dude, did he die? There was like some fitness, like, body, like, you know, raw n naturalist dude online who, like, died because his body, like, couldn't take it. Oh! Yeah, no, that was not... Is that um, not the Liver King? No, Liver King's still alive. I love the Liver King. That was another bodybuilder. I think I know who you're talking yeah. about. That was um, Joey Swole? No. No, Joey Swole. Joey, Joey I love Joey Swole. Joey Aesthetics. He died. I don't know who that is. He's the bodybuilder He was died. just another just Jack dude that passed away. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, Thomas, this is literally my couch. So... <laughs> Let's go! Come on! Where's the energy, you fucking sack of yogurt? Come on, back! I can't hit Brendan. Don't hit me. Usually, dude. I'd be all over the Brandon, other section of the podcast, but... Dude, here's the thing. I'm, I'm loving the podcast. I don't hate it. I, just, I, I don't really like change. Episode. I think this has been a great episode. This has been an amazing episode. I'm going to have a pleasure editing this for the next three to four days. I think this has been a really great episode. Yeah? Exactly. I think it's, I, we've, been, we've been having pretty good discussions. And you know, the thing is, is digital footprint, that's what I'm trying to be conscientious of. Oh, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. going to follow me around for the rest of my life. Oh, you're lucky you're on our most tame episode. Yeah. Brendan Hines is a fantastic person. For ever future employees, we're fucking crazy. He's a genuine He has no gentleman. idea what he's getting into. And he's we're a not very going nice to college. Man. He is. He's just, they, they're like, these guys, I, you know, football teammates, they're, they're buddies, I'd say. You know, we're, we're, we're chill. Yeah. And, you know, it's like. This is I. I was invited on. I. I thought it was a good opportunity. I. I haven't seen any. <laughs> I thought it was a good opportunity. Well, I never seen any of the previous episodes. <laughs> You're gonna be horrified. I'm gonna go home and watch them and be like, you can never post. This can never I mean, be posted. Personally, exactly. if I was Brennan, I don't know if I would enter my home and just willingly come up to my. Yeah, room like you. Room, but, you took this um, pretty well. I mean, I was surprised we were able to get you because, like. Yeah, most people have like a like allergic reaction to my house the first time they come in. So, well, I yeah. like playing Like you might be itchy for like the next through few weeks. Like you might like miss your period yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you uh, might need to take yeah. a pregnancy test. And if not, B, there's always wire hangers in there, man. So just like grab one on your way out. Yeah, and know they know emotions. Dude, dogs are man's best friend for a reason. And they can detect breast cancer. Yeah, dogs are smart. <laughs> really? They, they are loving, yes. they're energetic. Did you not know that? They can I be... did not know that. Dogs can actually... I'm going to be searching for that for me. I will be a dog I'm person a dog. for the rest if of my life. If that's false information, I'm an idiot. I'm I'm saying it right now as a 17-year-old. Listen, cats are chill. I'm a dog guy. for the Forever.
Dogs yeah. are just And that's better. why you're going to that's why Brandon Knight is going to be the most successful movie to be person fair, ever. Like there are good cats and there gonna are make bad the best cats. Movie. There's always good dogs. I want to make movies. I He's think to make movies. Awesome. I think that would be great. I would love to make a movie. I actually just made a short film for my college submissions and I think it came out really really good. Nice. Oh, what a sweet dog. You should be like um, that one guy from Marvel that like put himself like in a clip for every movie that he had. Stan Lee? Stan Lee, baby. <laughs> I didn't even know Stan Lee. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, 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 I'm those... sorry you have a life, Thomas. I'm sorry I haven't lost, I have my virgin, I don't, I lost my virginity. Oh, it doesn't even know who Stan Lee is. Like, sorry. I don't know every flavor of cheese it's either. Yeah, neither do I, <laughs> thank God. Are you sure about that? I know the white cheddar ones are the best. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten a cheese it since 93. But it's okay. Okay, tell us. You know, I can't wait to go to lunch, to like have lunch together with you, Xander. We're gonna make a nice shaved steak. Twenty episodes. Okay. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, and I, dude, I probably put over a hundred hours into editing. That's this. Yeah, I, I actually I, genuinely put effort into like. Yeah, dude, I applaud that. You're That's gonna great. see it. They're actually not that bad, and they and they've gotten better with every episode. Listen, if this goes well, I hope to be invited back. You ever use yeah. CapCut? No, I use uh, Premiere. Oh, I use CapCut free. The best thing. And also, you are more than welcome back on this fucking podcast because yeah. you've been amazing. You'll, you'll have to let me know. Yeah, because like, imagine this: you're in a, you're, you get called up, you're in this weird environment, people you barely know, and like, I'm attacking this guy, and there's been fights, and you've handled it remarkably well. And, and I think I'm spitting people, out bullshit every second of the way, man, all the time. Yeah, and I think the people at home Everything are giving I say us a round of applause. The people at home love us. I think right? so. I don't fucking know. Most people probably hate me. How many views does this tend to get? Like, out of curiosity. Is this like an We average average about 150. Of people you know or, like, random people? Uh, Uh, A a few people we know. Most of them we don't. Yeah. Well, our highest viewed video was episode 7. That one has about 500-something views on it. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Hey, props. And we have about, overall, on the whole channel, about 3,000-something views. That's awesome. You know what? I I hope that this episode blows up and it gets a really great reception. If this gets over 1,000 views, dinner's on me. I will will eat that dinner. (laughs) Exactly. But I can't afford to feed him. What'd you just whisper to him? No. You think I can't afford a dinner? Mr. <laughs> no job? No, he said he probably would advise me not to eat that dinner because it might be like... Poisoned? Not poisoned, but... You never it'd be know. Like a, it'd, be like a, it'd be like a Cosby dinner, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. <laughs> that thing's a Cosby <laughs> cocktail. Gone. You're gonna be here a while, never Brendan. Been on this show. You're never this coming here. Scary. Yeah, you're not leaving. That's just a, a Cosby cocktail. I should never have done this. You're gonna get knocked out. I've made a huge mistake. You're gonna wake up... You're gonna wake up... I got about enough with the Cosby jokes. I get it. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> no, no. You're more. gonna wake no, up. No, no more. Thirty six no. hours from now, Coach B- is gonna like be slapping your leg, saying, "Brendan, wake up, he wake hates up." Me. He does not like me at all because I punched that kid in the face. What? Did you actually do it? Be honest. Did, let me. Can I? For the people watching, this has been a highly um, divisive piece of Content. history. Um, I think my, so I was almost ejected from my game because I hit another football player in the helmet and a lot of people have been wondering, was it intentional? Was it like super malicious? You, you ready for the full truth? The genuine truth. This is waiting. This is actually what happened. Yes. So they squib it. They squib kick the ball. This is kick return. My job is to get the most dangerous man who was this. You know, guy a little bit smaller than me. He's running down. I block him Mm -hmm. really well. I block him, and the guy starts going. Yeah. But I'm already on him, and he's going sideways instead of up. Yeah. So I keep blocking this guy. Yes. And he, like, kind of block, like, kind of, like, pushes me off, but, like, I'm kind of, like, hanging on to him. And so he starts running up. I start running up. He tries to drop his shoulder into me. Yeah. And I'm pretty proud of this. I, like, kind of caught him, and, like, you can see it in the film. I kind of, like, pick him up and throw him. He doesn't, like, go on the ground like he catches himself, mm-hmm. but, like, I kind of throw him. And as it's happening, they blow the whistle because he got tackled or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, the whistle's blown. He, like, I tr- he, you know, he comes, at, he starts walking towards me. I turn to face him, and he shoves me. And he starts yelling, and he hits me. And, like, I just, I wasn't going to take it. So I smacked the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. And then I walked away. I, like, you know, because he... How hard did you hit this guy? Like, you got to swing your hand at, like, the speed that it was going, just to, sh- just to show the people. Hit me in the face. How hard you hit Are you serious? No, no, absolutely not. That would be funny. <laughs> I'm not trying to get slumped the fucking... Okay, all right, all right.
<laughs> he slaps. He slapped you many times. In the uh, dude, are we ready for this? This can't. This has to be an isolated thing. There's no hit backs. This in the side of the design. head. Don't hit the face because. Just like and you guys should shake hands here. before that you're brothers and you're not with, against each other. This, okay. Don't just, hit me back. This is just for science. Don't hit the ear. Just like I don't want to this. though. I don't want to hit you. Do that Brendan, as hard as you can. Don't wear it down. Well, just be well, for accuracy. For, for the truth, like for the for the truth. For, for the Obama. Truth. All right, the dog is coming in the way. Can you, can you move? What the dog? Do? <laughs> no, she can't. No, you can't. That's okay. Just try not to hit me like in right. the ear. Yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. Yeah, probably will. Okay. Okay. Probably well, a little that, harder. That's a flag. It was probably a little hard. Oh, it was definitely a flag. Yeah. Oh no. And then was... like you pulled out the greatest acting job of all time. Like, it was hard. What did I do? Like, what? <laughs> I'm Brendan Hines. I love Crest toothpaste. I, I, I'm not a fighting guy, but like this cat, ca- like I, I had to bitch this kid. He was trying to be. He was trying to act all tough. He wasn't tough, and I just showed him that he was beneath me. That's all I did. Wait, did we get penalized for it though? Did they? Did well, they he through? hit me first, so it got canceled out. Basically, I only hit him once. Uh huh. Like I hit him and I turned and walked away. I was, okay. I, I just ended it. He was uh-huh. trying to start shit. I put him in his place and I walked away. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I you're, wa- if you're the player who was watching this video, um, get <laughs> lost that fight and you're. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Don't. Yeah, I don't mean that. Obviously, the I'm sure. He, will be he kind fucking of means that. I'm sure you're at. Per, per, I mean, meet guy. me anywhere, any place. Listen, hey, it's I will beat the fuck out listen, of you it's, for him. It's in Birch Road. Listen, I can understand. It's embarrassing when you lose. It's embarrassing when you get blocked so well and you can't get off it. It's embarrassing. By Brendan Hines. It's embarrassing to suck. And listen, that's that's fine. Yeah. But then, you know, when you come up and you try to act all tough and you shove me, it's like, well, okay. The flags, you know, we've already gotten called on a flag. This is going to be its own thing. I, I shouldn't have hit you, but, like, do I regret it? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Like, my dad was like, good for you, man. Like, everybody I've shown the video to was like, nice. Yeah. Do you think Do you think Coach actually hates you, though? A little bit. Mm-hmm. No. Is he, like, talking to you directly? He is not. Like... Nobody has ad- – only two coaches have actually spoken to me about it. Um, yeah. Coach – who what I did, love. What did, he was just joking around with me. He was like, "Oh, these personal fouls, man. You gotta, you gotta cut it out. You can't keep fighting people, like, because you know, I'm yeah. not, I'm not a fighting guy. You, I'm like, a, you're, I'm, you're a lover, not a I'm, fighter. I am, I am genuinely most you times. I will try to talk at. I will not go to physical violence. Um, and then Coach <laughs> was like, "I couldn't believe they called it on you. I couldn't believe it. They said 27, they want to eject you. And I was like, "Yeah, man. He's like, don't do it again. And I'm like, I never. That will. was during the game, right? No, this was after. Oh, okay. Uh, Coach was like, what the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? And I was, and then, you know, this is me and my brilliant performance. I was like, what did I do? What's going on? And what did he say after you said that? Nothing. You, there was no film at the time. They, they, there was no instant replay. They couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. They had to wait. You got till, the wrong guy, had man. To, had to wait till Monday and I could make my story better. And, I, and so instead of going, I didn't do anything. My new story was, I was trying to hit his, hit his shoulder and I missed. Um, which is not true. Wow. That, that Wow. So, to answer your question, uh, to tell the truth, Coach, I know you hate me for it, and I know you said I don't deserve to be on a football field, but he started it, and yeah, I meant to hit him. That's mm. that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to clip that out, we're going to send it right to Coach. Don't let him ever see this. Don't worry. I don't think he Going cares. right to his house after this. He, doesn't, he, genu- he doesn't even have enough time to finish practice. He, he has enough time to watch, like... 30 minutes of a podcast? No, I should preface, everything I just said was mostly joking. Like, yeah, I meant to hit him, but, like, when I was saying he sucked and stuff, that's not true. I don't mean that. You're, you're, I'm sure you're a good dude. You're a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm sure it's fine. No, no beef, man. No beef. If you have beef, I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't, I have no beef. If we ever, like, met, I feel like we could probably talk and, be friends, be chill. Like, I feel like we would both be like, yeah, man, that was a really intense game. It was their senior night. They really wanted to win. Emotions were high. They really wanted it. That you know, you went too yeah, far. I mean, like his Listen, hormones are probably raging right he now. He went too far. It's going through changes, changes he went in too his body. Far. I met him there. We yeah. both got called, and that was the end of it. Mm-hmm. No beef. And you showed him up. Yeah, you showed him. Listen to Milky Titty Boy. It's been, on. Um, it's been a pleasure, sir. Yeah. Hey, it's been my. It's been an honor. I'm glad. Thank you for calling me. Thanks for having me. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. This this episode was made for the man who can read. And that's not a bad thing. Goodbye.